It makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up when the first time you see a kid discover that they're passionate about something. What they're doing is they're thinking about it all the time. They see it everywhere around them. It's not homework any longer. My name is Glenn Corey. I teach product design here at Novato High School in Northern California, and I'm an Allen Distinguished Educator. Exactly. And what are you doing? Uh, I'm building a grappling hook. He's building a grappling hook. I try to make the introduction to Product Design One, touching a lot of areas, everything from tools to creativity to presentation. And my whole intention is they're going to bump into something that's going to really inspire them to kind of make something with it. Can you tell them what you're doing here? This is what I got finished in one day. So oh, it. nice. One of my students this year is making a mask for his helmet for football because he noticed a problem. He was playing football, noticed things got in his eyes and it was limiting his vision. This is the part you don't like, right? Yeah. The issue was what sometimes the metal is usually too weak or there's not enough protection around the eyes. I learned how to work with metal. We've done heating and I'm starting to weld. It doesn't feel like I'm learning at all. It feels like I'm just coming out and doing something that I like to do. I believe that everyone has a deep curiosity once you're allowed to express it. If you tell a kid that you're allowed to listen to yourself and do what you care about, it's empowering on a lot of different levels. So I'm making a meat smoker. I need still need to get doors, but it's coming along. There's not one identical project in that class. Each kid can kind of follow the thing they're interested in. That one kid's learning to make a, a skateboarding ramp, but one kid's making this prosthetic. This is his bicep and this is the base of his elbow. And I think I'm gonna make it into a sock, the inside sock. Sophie came to me uh, half a year ago, uh, and her friend is missing a, a significant portion of his arm, and uh, she wanted to be able to make a paddle for him. I'll be using this as a model to be able to understand exactly how it would move. She's studying paddles, she's studying flippers, she's studying carbon, so she's studying all this thing to try to find a solution to a problem as simple as she wants this guy to be able to actually enjoy paddle more. I don't ask kids to do homework in my class, but once they've discovered something they care about, we find them doing it all the time. Last year, Mr. Corey picked up a welder. It's something I, I really enjoy. He really enjoys kind of just learning and being there with the kids. I actually want to come to this class. <laughs> so once a student discovers something they care about, then they start noticing other things they care about, and they know that they can just go after anything they care about, so the world's just wide open to them.